Do I have a mask? Have a good day. Have a good day. See you this afternoon. Got your card again? Yeah. <gasps> right, done. We need to go. It is good morning. It is Tuesday, and the electrician is here right above my head putting in new sockets. So it's going to be very noisy and quite difficult to film. So there might be quite a lot of uh, muted footage with music over the top <laughs> today. Someone said in the comments. Someone said in the comments, short-term inconvenience for long-term improvement. <laughs> Trying to bear that in mind today. I've been running around all morning. I had to go and get some bits for the electrician because Dan got the wrong bits. And I've been picking up some stuff, to, uh, ingredients for Dan's cake. I'm now going to do some wrapping of presents. I think I'm going to wrap Lydia's presents. And Dan's. I haven't got all of Dan's presents down here, but I'll show you a few of the things I'm going to wrap. Um, so Lilia and Dan, don't watch this vlog at all. In fact, if you got to this point, just turn it off. Lilia won't be watching. There's no way on earth that she will be watching me. She's got better things to do. She's nearly 15. She's got better things to do than watching her mum faff about on YouTube. Right, I'm going to go and get stuck in. <laughs> Dan has been going on about me teaching him to knit, specifically to knit socks. So I've got here some yarn that was a lovely gift some time ago and I think it will be perfect to give him to try knitting with for the first time. It's a really good basic sock yarn and it's a nice light colour, not too girly either. So I think this will be really good and because it's got lots of different colours in it, I, I find that's really handy when you're learning because the stitches tend to be different colours as you're knitting them and it kind of helps you to place where you are. At least that's what I found when I was learning. So I put those aside for him and I'm going to make him a project bag. And I've got this lovely Star Wars fabric that was in um, a fabric advent that was sent to me by lovely Loma and Echo of the Rogan Camp Girls um, podcast. Um, at Christmas, it was a complete surprise and they put a load of Star Wars fabric in because they know Dan's a huge Star Wars fan. So I'm going to try and fashion a project bag for him out of these um, scraps of Star Wars fabric. Unfortunately, today's Tuesday. I'm working tomorrow. Uh, we're all downstairs today, um, so I can't shop hide with my sewing machine from Dan while he's upstairs because the electrician is here. Um, so I'm going to have to find some time between now and Thursday morning to sew him a project bag. Can I do it? Watch this space. And also, if you have watched my vlogs before, you may know this, but if not, I shall tell you, we have a tradition in our household. By the way, in case you're joining for the first time, my house doesn't normally look like this. It's because we are remodelling the bedroom and we've had to empty everything out. So the whole house is just covered in boxes and bits and bobs and we've had to move furniture around to sort of accommodate stuff because we need to completely empty the bedroom ready for the plasterer coming on Thursday. And if you did know that, I apologise for repeating myself continually. 
Um, yeah, so we have a tradition of um, the uh, birthday eve book. So for Dan's birthday eve, um, on the recommendation of a few viewers of this channel, we did um, a vlog um, earlier on in March called, uh, oh I can't remember what it's called, but it was re book recommendations. We were talking about books we liked and quite a few people recommended the Book of Dust series um, by Philip Pullman. It's related to the Northern Lights uh, trilogy um, or his dark materials and they recommended this as a book for Dan. So I've got in volume one for his um, birthday eve book which he will open the night before his birthday and volume two I've got him as well but that's going to be a gift from Phoebe so um, she, she wants to wrap that herself but I'm going to crack on and wrap this I've also got him some of his favorite chocolate this is from Aldi's if you've not tried their sort of um, sort of luxury dark chocolate range it's amazing they do another one that's just dark chocolate and salt but they didn't have it when I went so I've got him dark chocolate salted caramel which sounds even nicer to be honest. But yeah, they're really, really lovely. Right, better get on. So I want to share with you some of the things I've got for Lilia. So seriously, Lilia, if for any weird reason you are watching this, don't watch, because you'll ruin the surprise. Lilia's a big fan of the television series Once Upon a Time. So I ordered for her a little Emma themed necklace. If you watch Once Upon a Time, you'll know Emma Swan is one of the main characters. This is what it looks like. It's from Etsy. It's from a shop called Lilac Fox Designs. There wasn't a card or anything, but that's the sticker on the badge. And she does all different ones based on different characters from the show. So I think Lilia's gonna love that. I'm not going to show you everything that we've got for Lilia, but I'll show you a few things. It's always nice to see what people have bought, isn't it? Um, for Phoebe, by the way, so I always get the girls a little token present on the other one's birthday. My mum's always done that as well, uh, until we were quite old, actually. and we, It's a bit of a family joke that that's what we do. So for Phoebe, I'm probably going to get her a little something else, but I got her a giant um, Colin the Caterpillar chocolate. And I also got her one of the Little People Big Dreams book. And this was based on a comment that someone left me about this person, Harriet Tubman, who I had never heard of. And it, I, I went to look her up after someone left a comment about her and her story and found that they did one of the Little People Big Dreams books about her. Now, Phoebe's got a few of these she, and she really loves them. And it's a really good way to introduce historical important characters to young children. Um, I get these on Amazon. I'll see if I can link this one underneath. I'm not sure if they're available worldwide, but it's worth having searched because they're really, really good. And the illustrations are always really um, beautiful. Uh, and they just basically tell the story and how this person um, was important in history. She's got one for David Attenborough, for example. Um, she's got one for... Oh, She's got several and I can't remember any of them now. I might have to have a look look, look them out and uh, show you. So yeah, they're really good. Illustrated by Pilly Aguado, it says. So that's for Phoebe, she'll really like that. And I've also got her um, one of these. Now, I, she wanted to get one of these for Lilia. So I got them, but I can't remember which way around the colors go. So I'm gonna have to ask her which colors she wanted to buy for Lilia and which one's going to be for her. Interestingly, on my other channel, I'm running an Amigurumi along and uh, a lovely lady on that uh, Amigurumi along has made one of these out of crochet. Um, so I'm going to have to try that because it's a grumpy octopus that you can turn into a happy octopus. <laughs> grumpy. Happy. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to have to look up that pattern on Minty and um, and have a go at crocheting one of these. So this is going to be a gift for Lilia from Phoebe. And then I've got another one in a different colour, but I can't remember which one's which, which Phoebe doesn't know. I've got her one too. So for Lilia's um, birthday eve book, I've got her a standalone um, book written by the same author of one of her favourite series of books, um, Karen, Karen M. McManus. This one's called The Cousins, 
and she also wrote the One of Us is Lying series which Lilia spoke about on our book blog um, which I'll link underneath. So this is going to be her birthday eve book. She's, she's been going on about it a lot, dropping quite big hints. And the other books I've got her, she's a big fan of Dash and Lily. Uh, so I've got her the next two books in the series as well, because I know she'll, she devoured Dash and Lily in about two days. So I know she'll devour these as well. And in fact, she's read Dash and Lily twice now. So I've got the next two books in that series. Um, she's a big fan of Hamilton uh, and Lin-Manuel Miranda. And um, we all are actually. And I got her Good Morning, Good Night, Little Pet Talks for Me and You by Lin-Manuel Miranda, illustrated by Johnny Sun. I have no idea what it's about, but it had really good reviews on Amazon. I've had a little flick through it. It seems really good fun. And it seems right up Lilia's street. So I think she's really going to enjoy that. Can you hear the rumbling of wires and things up? So he's had to take up some floorboards. I can't even tell you. So much mess. And then finally for her birthday books, I got her her very first graphic novel. This is something I've been looking into for a while and it's something I'm quite interested in as well. So I did a bit of research on Amazon and had a good look around. And one of the books that she's done for her GCSE English, which she absolutely loved was, well, plays, I should say it's play, and in spectacles. Um, so I got her the graphic novel, novel version of it and it's really good. I've been reading a couple of pages. It's just, it's so good. I think she's gonna absolutely fall in love with this kind of genre. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to give it to her. So that's the final book I've got her. Um, I've also got plenty of drawing stuff and she wanted as her main present a um, thermal printer because she does a lot of scrapbooking and journaling. Uh, so I did a bit of research on that and in the end I went for the Canon Zoe Mini, which is this one. Now thermal printer prints with heat, so there's no ink in it. Uh, the, the colour is in the special paper that you have to buy and the heat changes the colour of the paper. So it's never going to be a high quality thing, but for scrapbooking and so on, it's really, really good. I've already tested it on an old photo and it does come out with a kind of 1970s hue to it. <laughs> Mind you, the picture I tested was from the 1970s, so perhaps that wasn't the best test. But it worked really well. The paper has sticky back, so you can stick it straight into things. And as a journaling thing, I, I think you can't go wrong really. I think she's absolutely gonna love this. I think she's gonna use it forever. The paper, I've got 50 sheets here. I can't remember how much it cost me, but it wasn't ridiculous. Like I'd be happy to buy her this every few months to use in her journaling and top her up at Christmas and birthdays and stuff. So I might even borrow it from her myself. So that's her main present. She also requested Bro Thor Pophead. <laughs> So I got her one. This is when Thor in the Marvel films is um, fat and eating pizza. <laughs> so I think she's she's going to really love that. Lots of other things. Some things I've already shown you. And one more thing I wanted to show you, which is not related to her birthday, but to Easter, is I bought these on Etsy. I was looking for something else entirely and I saw them and I was like, oh, they look fun as an alternative to chocolate and plasticky things. Um, Ruby and Bo, it's an English company um, here in the UK, obviously. That's their details. Um, I got some Egg Hunt plantable seed paper eggs, wildflower. So they come in this little compostable bag, you get six eggs. And uh, what you do is you plant the eggs in a pot and they grow. It's got all the instructions on the back in the paper and I thought as a um, as an alternative to oh sorry there's not six there's, there's 12 in here well that's good isn't it as an alternative to eggs and things I thought I might give these to the girls as a little present on Easter Sunday and maybe we can plant some things on Easter Sunday as a little traditional thing we could start um, yeah so that's Ruby and Bo if you're interested Okay, I'm gonna stop jabbering on at you now because I've got a feeling this is gonna be me talking a lot about stuff today and crack on with wrapping some of this stuff that's now all over the living room because you know, we don't have enough mess in here at the moment.
So the sockets are done. We had to take a load of skirting board off. So we've got one here and one behind that temporary little unit there. And that will mean I can plug lights inside the wardrobes. Now I know we can get rechargeable ones and so on, but I'd never recharge them. <laughs> so it's been a very noisy, messy day and I found that very stressful because uh, noise. I did, um, and also, just in case I seem a bit hypocritical, because I was moaning about neighbour noise yesterday, um, well, I did warn them, I let them know. I let them know that we were making some noise today and they were very, very understanding. We are lucky, they are nice. So, um, yes, and it's all done now, thank goodness. So now we just have to, um, oh, also we took down a thing here. There, so we've got a picture rail, which I love, that goes all around the, win, uh, all around the room. But the one on this, um, on the chimney breast, always looked wonky. And now, as it turns out, it wasn't wonky. The ceiling is wonky, <laughs> but it looked wonky. And we couldn't work out what to do. So the guy that was here doing the electrics took it off for us. And the plan is once the wardrobes are in, which are gonna be floor to ceiling, we can then make a decision about whether we want to put a picture rail up there and, and, and do it by eye and make sure it looks level in relation to the cupboards and everything else. So now I've got to put all the furniture back and clear up the mess a bit and go and get Phoebe. What are you waiting for me? Mm -hmm. what, what, what do you want to do? I'm going to put the, the cable back inside the hoover. A bit makes a noise. Okay, now that the hoover is away, I'm going to do the song of the day because I'm very aware that I've rabbited on a lot today because I've been telling you about presents and things. So you'll be sick of the sight of me. So if I tell you the song of the day now, you'll be done with me for another day. <laughs> so the song of the day is because this morning I was listening to a France, a playlist that I made for when we went to France last year. And on it was You'll Be Back from Hamilton, which I absolutely love. I can listen to the first bar of that song and I'm back driving around France with the girls and with Dan and having a lovely time. But we've had that song previously on a different vlog series, I think Vlogtober last year. And so then I thought, okay, so maybe I could do something else connected. So then I thought, oh, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton, he also wrote Moana, the music for Moana. But then I was like, mm, no, I don't fancy any songs from Moana, even though it is my current favourite Disney film. And then I thought, what about other playlists from other holidays? And then I remembered when we went to France quite a few years before and did a playlist. And one of the songs on there is Put Your Records On by Corin Bailey Ray and it's such a lovely sunny happy song I thought that will be perfect for today when I'm surrounded in dust and boxes and nails and hoovers and plaster dust I literally have plaster dust all over my side of the bed because it just crumbles off the wall <sighs> roll on Thursday when we get nice new plaster anyway I'll add that to the Spotify playlist which is linked underneath and I'm going to shut up now and go and pick up Phoebe from school Good news, the Yorkshire tea bags have arrived. I can now start putting them in my orders again. <laughs> Yay! But right now I'm going to have a cup of rooibos tea. And I, ma I said I wasn't coming back on to bore you, didn't I? But one more thing. Um, I usually get TikTok rooibos tea, because I love it. But it's quite expensive. So while I was there, I also, oh, also saw that Tetley do a red bush tea as well. So I thought I'd get some to try. I might try one now. It's very, very nice. I don't know if the eco credentials are the same in terms of the tea bag and whether there's any plastic content as the TikTok tea, but it's very, very tasty. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy this and I'll see you tomorrow.